I first became personally acquainted with Baby Plus 12 years ago when I wore it with my first child. And it was given to me um, by a family friend and suggested that, you know, I might appreciate the value of that. Um, so, I, of course, you know, I looked more into it and um, I, you know, I wore it faithfully and I was amazed, um, first of all, how easy it was to use. And um, as I read more about, you know, the potential impact, it was something that I, I felt like was such an easy way to kind of nurture my unborn child. So certainly once my first was born, um, at first I didn't give it much, you know, much thought uh, about, oh, I'm, I'm waiting to see if it makes any difference. But in fact, it was amazing how quickly people mentioned um, how calm her temperament was, how she seemed so relaxed. And then as she developed, we were, we were struck by how she seemed at such ease in her environment. She was, um, she seemed to absorb things so well. And then, you know, obviously then I continued and wore it with my second and third children as well. And, you know, well, at, like any kids, they're all very different and they certainly have their strengths. Um, I've learned, you know, as I've watched other children, um, you know, all three of mine plus friends' children that I have recommended Baby Plus to, and certainly some patients who have worn it unbeknownst to me and who I have then recommended it to for other children, um, the similarities are pretty impressive. I mean, the initially it's just the temperament of the child. I mean, people worry so much, is my child gonna be a fussy baby? Are they gonna be able to handle all the stimulation? Well, one thing that I believe strongly in is that Baby Plus helps them so such so much adapt to their, you know, changing auditory environment. So when they come out, they're just much less kind of overloaded from a sensory standpoint, which then, you know, I also believe leads to them being able to interact in their environment in a much kind of more calm um, and beneficial way. And I think then the, the next phase of that comes as, you know, you begin to see their early cognitive development. And that can be as early as like four or six months. And certainly, you know, when you begin to talk about speech, you know, 12, 15, 18 months, and you know, just watching them learn and um, put connections together and um, show interest in, in their environment and be able to absorb information. And the memory part of it that I've observed in my own kids and, and certainly talking to friends and talking to patients, um, they, that seems to be one of the ways I've, I've seen it make a big impact. And that can obviously, you know, cause them to have a great advantage, you know, not just um, in school, but also in life in, in general.